Myanmar authorities reject UN findings on Rohingya abuses, reports a spokesman for Myanmar government Zahate rejected the findings of a UNFFMs, the UN fact-finding mission, probe alleging genocide by Myanmar's military in the Rakhine state, AFP reported, citing local media outlet. The UNFFM mission said Monday that the Tatmada, Myanmar's military, had committed numerous grave violations of international law, including indiscriminate killings, enforced disappearance, torture, gang rape, sexual slavery, assaulting children, and burning entire villages. The UN experts noted that the military's tactics were consistently and grossly disproportionate to actual security threats, especially in Rakhine State, according to the state-run Global New Light of Myanmar newspaper, cited by AFP. Zahate said that the UNFFM mission had not entered Myanmar and that's why we don't agree and accept any resolutions made by the Human Rights Council. Zahate stressed that Myanmar has zero tolerance to any human rights violation, and had set up a commission of inquiry to respond to false allegations made by the UN and other international communities. If there is any case against human rights, just give us strong evidence, record and date so that we can take legal action against those who break the rules and regulations, Zahate was quoted as saying by the global new light of Myanmar. Moreover, Myanmar has denied most of the allegations, saying the authorities responded to a threat from Rohingya militants, who attacked police checkpoints across the Rakhine state, Reuters reported Wednesday. In turn, the UN report has read that the primary responsibility for investigating and prosecuting crimes under international law lies with the government of Myanmar, however, local officials have demonstrated an unwillingness or inability to do so. The UN report also includes a list of six individuals led by Commander-in-Chief General Min Aung Hlaing to be prosecuted in connection to gross human rights violations in Myanmar's Rakhine state. The mass exodus of the Rohingya people started after Myanmar security launched a crackdown on Rohingya insurgents following an attack on the police posts which killed 12 servicemen. Watch, the stateless minority has long been fighting discrimination and persecution, as the Myanmar government claims they are migrants from Bangladesh who occupied the Rakhine territory. Despite the fact that most of the Rohingyas were born in Myanmar, they have no citizenship and are deprived of the social benefits such as health care and education. Neighboring Bangladesh now shelters over 700,000 Rohingya refugees. Read more.